No. 
we're on. Okay, welcome back to KBLP American Horror Story, American Horror Story, the Unreal Story with Lori Wood and Denise Harris, and we left Hi. off. And we left off at episode five, and we're on to episode six, the origins of monstrosity. Interesting, interesting. Um, we have a, a new character in the month. Senior comes in. Joseph, how do you pronounce his last name? Fines. 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 He yes. uh, played by Joseph Fines, and he visits. Have we not seen him at all again? Um, I don't think so. The Monsignor? Oh, no, we saw him earlier yeah, when they yeah. were having dinner together. Right, that's it's the only married. time we saw him, though. So. And he promises the, that he'll be the Pope one day, and she'll be right by his side. Not just the, not just the Cardinal, but the Pope. Yeah. That's what he did earlier, but yes. Yep. Yeah. Uh, asp- aspiring there, isn't he? <laughs> but, I guess. Um, Blowing smoke up, all right, is what I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely. Uh, so he visits Shelly, and there's a new patient at Briarcliff. Um, her mother, who, her mother believes she killed someone, so she put her in there. Hi, Lisa. He just kind of, he, he, hi, Lisa. He kind of, she drops her off and just yeah. leaves her there. I know, it's like, hey, here you go. I'm like, wow. <laughs> Wow, she's... Uh, yeah, I think she did it, though, but that's me. And, um... I'm glad I didn't say goodbye. I, who is she supposed to have killed? At first, she supposed to, like... Well, she said that this man killed her best right. friend, Josie, when they were out playing. But the way she described it was... It was very deadpan and... and yeah, no emotion. She, just gave this kind of generic description of the man who killed her, killed this girl Josie, and just said, he said, if I say and he said anything, he'd kill me too. So it was kind of like, well, that doesn't make much sense that he would leave a witness. So yeah, yeah, just yeah, that the whole thing. I think she did it too. Yeah, she's a, definitely a sociopath there. Well, but Sister Jude got rid of her right away. Yeah, yeah. Only for her to go on and actually kill her sister and her brother and her mom. And then come up with the same story. Yeah. So, and, you know, we never did find out what happened to her because she never came back. No, no. I guess she was just... Uh, uh, One of the casualties of war. Huh? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> And then, of course, we got some flashbacks going on. Um, how Dr. Yep. Arden came to work there at Briar Cliff. He, well, yeah, Dr. Arden was actually the head of the tuberculosis war right. back in 1962. And that's when Father, he was Father Timothy, mm-hmm. back then came through. And was actually, there was actually only one patient there, and that she happened to be one of the nurses that had originally worked the wards. And since at that time, there was really, you know, you know, at that time, you would have thought TB would have been totally, maybe it wasn't 19, yeah, that's what it said, 1962, there was really no... You know, there still is really no cure for TB. I mean, you get your you get your right. vaccines for it now, but if you get TB, there is no cure for it. Right. There still is no cure for it. No. I had to go through a scary experience with that many years ago when I was in in banking. So, yeah, you can you can be exposed to TB without even knowing it. Oh, definitely. And it's very scary. Yeah. So. Yeah, you can get a lot that you don't know. Yeah, yeah. That's for sure. I know I did too. I had uh, got the measles that you're not supposed to get twice from banking or working at a bank. So I, I get that totally. Yeah. But yeah, um, I was exposed to, I was in fact exposed to uh, TB because I went to get 
uh, I wanted to volunteer in my daughter's school, so I had to get a TB test, and it came back positive. Wow. And they said it's not because – so then I had to go get the, the chest x-rays, and it was clear. And he said it's not because you have TB. You just have been exposed to it. Uh, so I had to go through the six months of – medication treatment wow like just like i had like i had it Jeez. and that, that was scary, crazy but yeah it, it really is wow um oh and then um sister jude finally gets evidence of his past and puts her career and someone's life on the line for this who is yeah uh, no we i can hear her can you, I don't know. We were having a little problem with Rick there for a bit, too. Yes, we were. So, was, I don't uh, know if it's, could be the weather acting. It's hard telling. It's hard telling. I don't know. Can you hear her now? Go ahead, talk, Lori. Make sure she Lori can hear Lori said who is, and she didn't say who. Is it me? Oh, when you're talking, Lori. Huh. Am I good now? Should be. I hear you loud and clear, so. Okay. All right. Well, um, yes, and in also in this episode, Monsignor goes to deliver the last rites right. to a patient in the hospital, and he discovers it's Shelley. Right, he visits her. So he goes back and to, and he confronts right Doctor Arden, and Doctor Arden then goes into his big old spiel about he's doing this for the greater good, which we just discussed. Right, right. About he's making <coughs> these strong people who could withstand a nuclear war. Which, to me... I wouldn't want to live like that, even if I could survive a nuclear war. Yeah. Would you? No. God, no. No, no, no. Absolutely not. Yeah, the whole, his whole reasoning behind this, these um, experimentations and stuff is, wow. He, he, he's just evil. Yeah. He, he's evil. It's just, a, he, he rationalizes it, basically. That's all. So he can live with it, I guess. So, yeah. um, and then we have a meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, yes. back at the ranch, um, yeah. had the doc, uh, Dr. Arden, the Monsignor, and Sister Mary Eunice, uh, they uh, form an, e uh, an evil union, basically. Alliance. Alliance, <laughs> yes. And we have an elsewhere, <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile and elsewhere. Lana remains a hostage of Dr. Thresden, a.k.a. Bloody Face, who enlightens her about his past. How do you like that word? He enlightens her about it. Isn't that nice? Oh, my gosh. You know, yeah. oh, my gosh. She yeah. grew up in an orphanage. She didn't have a mother. You know, it's kind of like the same. It's kind of like the same old thing. Yeah. So if that is all your reasons to... Do what you're doing. Yeah, you gotta love it. And it was the end of that episode. Or <coughs> excuse me. It was during that episode that I, I I think I found the most disturbing when Lana is trying to keep him from killing her, right? Yeah. Because he was going to kill her, right? And then he she started saying calling him baby, and then. She says, calls her mommy, and he says, babies oh. need progesterone. Oh, yeah, that was, that. Yeah, I agree, that was disturbing, definitely. You that know, was, that's oh. really kind of, one of, was one of the, kind of one of the most disturbing things to me. Yeah, because yeah, it was. It was just like, you know, he does that, and then... He raped her or whatever. So yeah. is she yeah. your mommy? Yeah. Are you kind of makes your skin she... makes your skin crawl? Ugh. I think that's really the whole point yeah. of Asylum. Oh, definitely, definitely. Every episode, they want to up the creep factor and make your skin crawl just a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, so, that's yeah. for sure. So, 
and also in the 